If you're new to the channel or just aren't aware, I have been working on a side project lately. The project is called Play Store Finder, and you can find that website at playstorefinder.com. I wanted to create a website as a resource for anyone who has had difficulty finding a new application or game in the Google Play Store. The Play Store is infamous for not providing the user with enough search filters to help them narrow down the massive number of apps and games that are available. So for example, let's say you're looking for an adventure game. In Google Play, you're only really given filters to view a list of the top free, the top grossing, and the top paid games in the adventure category. Even if you were to go through the categories section and then narrow down into the adventure area, you're still only really given a small curated list of games that fit various styles of adventure games, like offline or casual or stylized. What if you were just not a fan of games with ads? Or what if you didn't want to see any games with in-app purchases? Sadly, we cannot do this with the Google Play Store right now, and that is what the website playstorefinder.com is here to help with. On the website, you can view apps and games by either categories or tags. So again, let's say we wanted to check out some adventure games. So we can use the filter feature right here to remove all adventure games that have ads embedded in them. So these apps, these adventure games do not have any ads in that list. We could even take this further and combine multiple filters. So let's say we only wanted to see adventure games without ads and without in-app purchases. Then again, using the filters, we can narrow this down even further. And now all of the games in this list do not have ads and they do not have in-app purchases. There are a number of filters to choose from, from paid or free in-app purchases, Bluetooth or touch control, offline or online, whether it supports Google Play Pass, portrait or landscape orientation, and then downloads, reviews, and ratings. There are a lot of filters to use on the website right now, so feel free to browse around and see what you can find. Lately, I have been working on adding a featured section to the various category and tags pages that are used on the website. So maybe you do not want to install 10 or 20 different rhythm games to find the one that you hope you would like. I've been experimenting with different designs of how this would look and have given those who have a channel membership here a sneak peek at the progress. Channel memberships here on my YouTube channel only cost $1 per month. So if you're interested in getting a behind the scenes look at what I'm working on and what's going on in my life, then check the video description below for a direct link on how you can gain access to the channel membership area. Now that I've been working on this feature for a little bit and have been going back and forth with the channel members, I wanted to announce the feature here as a video. So maybe you don't want to install 10 or 20 different rhythm games to find out the one that you hope you would like. Here's an example of how that new feature will look like on mobile with the design getting a bit more elongated when viewing it on the desktop. I have set up this new feature for the rhythm tag 
as well as the tower defense tag, and it is still a work in progress. So if you want to check out some of these featured apps or games at the top, you can do so, or you can just scroll down and see the full list of all of the tower defense games on the website. There are dozens of categories and over 500 different tags used on playstorefinder.com. Not only am I adding apps and games to the website manually, but I'm also manually adding this featured section to these tags and category pages as well. I do have a system in place that allows me to add them fairly quickly compared to how it was when I was first setting things up, but it's still going to take me a long time to add this to hundreds of the different hub pages. As always, if you have any thoughts or comments about the design of this new feature or any other aspect of the website, I would love to hear it down in the comments section below. If there's an application or game that you would like to see on playstorefinder.com, then I recommend using the suggest button at the top of the website to send me a message. I hope this new feature is going to be useful for those who use the website, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below.